What is going on YouTube? Thomas coming at you with a brand new video and in today's video I'm going to be actually showing you guys some of my Facebook ad results so far in my $150 kind of testing Facebook ads for affiliate marketing campaign guys. So I spent over 50 bucks and I'm going to show you guys my results so stay tuned for those. Welcome back to the channel everyone. If this is your first time here, I make videos showing you guys always I make money online and how you guys can do the same, uh, whether it's affiliate marketing, drop shipping, anything guys related to online business. I am here to help you to show you guys how to go about that guys. We all want that lifestyle of freedom. So if you want that guys, consider subscribing so you can learn from me. I'm providing a ton of valuable content every other day here on YouTube. Okay, so let's jump right into this video. All right guys, I minimized myself here so I can show you a little bit more of my screen. Uh, this is actually from the last video that I made on this topic. So guys, I'm gonna give you an update of what's going on. So the first 50 dollars to 50 bucks, you remember that I was testing some three broad audiences, over a million people, uh, worldwide, different videos for the ad, and I was gonna pick the best video, right? So essentially guys, that's what I've done now. Um, and I've picked the best video, and now we're going into more of the targeting uh, type of stuff and seeing how I can essentially start to optimize and start to find the right people because when it comes to this campaign, it's kind of a, it's a make money online, like it, it's that type of, you know, niche, right? But the problem that I have is that um, it's not like super specific. So it kind of can relate to anyone, like someone who is new to this whole thing can actually ju like jump in, see the ad and say, well, wow, I actually might want to be, in I might be interested in that and actually do it. So it's a pretty broad audience. So the key is here now to, you know, have this massive audience and to now narrow this massive audience down into this amount of people who actually, you know, have the money to buy the course, uh, you know, the offer that I'm promoting, and actually, you know, would be willing to pay for something, right? That actually can, you know, help further them along and actually start, you know, making money for them. Um, so that's that's the key here, guys. It's it's this when I say it like this is like the the buying group, right? This can still be like you know thousands of people. So that that's the thing. Like, there's still a lot of people here. Uh, this is just talking, I'm talking like, we're talking millions of people here <laughs> on like that I'm trying to narrow down into like thousands. Okay. So like that's, that's kind of the idea. So I'm going to actually jump into my ad manager here on Facebook and show you guys what I'm doing. It's super guys. Like I'm not spending too much money. Like it's like 10 bucks a day. So like, it's like super like laid back here. Like I'm not going crazy because I don't want to, you know, go too fast on this stuff. I want to kind of make sure that I'm on top of everything and I see stuff because if I start spending 20, 30 bucks a day and it hasn't proven itself yet, like that's kind of risky because you start wasting money. Like in, in a sense, you can start wasting money very fast. So especially if you're a beginner, you know, I do not recommend doing anything crazy. So for me guys, three ad sets, 10 bucks a day, right? So $3.33 per ad set uh, in, you know, my current testing strategy. You know, if I want to add another ad set or two, I'm completely fine with that. I'm just looking to spend between 10 and 15 bucks a day max. Okay. So Let's go through what we have here. So we are optimizing uh, for leads. Okay, that's what we're doing. Optimizing for leads. And as you can see today, so let's just go through today's stats. Today's November 7th, the time that I'm filming this video. Uh, and so today's stats, guys, we have, let's see, three leads on this ad set, which I ended up turning off later on in the day, which I will explain to you in a second why. 13 leads here. This one's been inactive for a few days five here and none here because this one's actually brand new i just started up um now right if you're thinking let me just actually move myself to this this side of the screen so you guys can see the the cool stuff on the right the numbers so if you're thinking like wow like these are super cheap now guys let's let me let me explain why this is the case i'm targeting worldwide okay so what is facebook doing right they're trying to get me the lowest cost per conversion okay so that's the lowest cost per lead now, when you're targeting worldwide, there are some countries that uh, necessarily aren't buying countries when it comes to Facebook ads and products and stuff like that, right? And they're essentially finding people in these countries, and it's very cheap, very cheap traffic. Now, is it good traffic? No, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, guys. It's not good traffic. So that's why these numbers are super, super low, like 20 cents per lead. If I was getting 20 cents per lead, man, I would just start dropping, you know, hundreds of bucks a day, you know, grabbing, you know, thousands of leads a day and, you know, just see what happens. But the thing is, guys, I've seen that we have no, no convergence, no sales yet on 
the actual offer. I've driven, uh, I want to say, over 150 people to the actual offer, and we have no nothing to show for it as of yet. So uh, why is that the case, and why am I doing that? Why am I actually paying for bad traffic, essentially, right? Okay, well, actually, uh, things are starting to change, as this top ad set is actually not. This, this is going to be much more expensive traffic, as you can see by my CPM, which is essentially cost per thousand impressions right here. So this top ad set is buying countries, countries that have more like buying power, if that makes sense. So it's countries like the United States, Canada, Australia, United Kingdom, some countries like that, uh, a lot of countries in Europe, you know. So that's why it's costing a lot more per thousand impressions, right? But, but there is a reason why I did this. Because initially, guys, here's the thing. I'm going to be putting something that's super broad, like essentially a super broad audience, right? I'm putting something in front of them, and I don't really know how they're going to react to it, right? So let me try to get the cheapest traffic, right? Let me try to get some some idea, right? What's the age bracket, you know? Well, who would, where are these people? Where are they exactly? What are their interests? That type of stuff, right? Um, some of the demographics, male, female, like that type of stuff, right? So that's what I try to get the data and get the video views on my videos, which actually, if we scroll across here to the side, let me see. So, yeah, this is what I have. We are, the video is actually like a 12 minute advertisement, right? So it's pretty long. So if someone stays, uh, 75%, even 95%, like they're actually like super interested because this is like a 12 minute video. So like that tells me a lot and that's why this is gonna be insane because if this if this thing can actually, you know, start generating me a, a sale or two here and there uh, and I can start dumping more money back into the ads, when you start going at, you know, when you start generating 75% view video lookalikes, 95% view video lookalike audiences, like that's super, super targeted traffic to someone who is going to like almost guarantee like be interested in what I'm showing, right? So that's essentially like the, that's the, the goal, right? Now, right now, how can I get to the fastest, right? Well, that's essentially with cheap traffic. Get there the fastest with cheap traffic. I can get a ton of people to watch the video, you know, on a, on a daily basis, like probably getting between, I was getting between 60, more like 100 views at 25% of the video each and every day the past couple of days that I was running this campaign. So like, start to think like once I get this 20 this is this is gonna be the first look like audience I create 25% of the video viewed people who are similar who look alike to those people that's what I'm gonna create next I'm gonna show you guys how I do that when I do that right but I'm getting a decent amount of views on the cheaper these two ad sets that I'm showing right here this one and this one the 20 and the 30 uh, those those ad sets are worldwide and they're getting a ton of views right so now what I'm going to start to do is now that I've gotten some traction on the videos, right? I have some traction. Now there's some social proof on the ads. Now what I'm going to do is this top ad is, you know, more buying traffic, more United States, Canada, uh, you know, Australia, those types of countries. So now I put the ad in front of those people under the same kind of interests for now. Um, I'm always testing different interests. I'm testing different interests, but like very similar type of topics. And now I put the ad in front of them. And now these people who, these you know numbers begin to get like super good because now people who actually click, people who actually are you know become leads from that targeting group you know are super targeted people. They're really good. That's good traffic, right? That's really good traffic. That hopefully will you know eventually lead to sales down the road, right? So that's essentially the idea behind this stuff, guys. So now let's break it down. Let's actually break it down really quick. Um, I'm actually let's go. Let's show you guys the lifetime here because. This is just today, and today just, eh. Let's show you guys a little more. So, the reason why I say it's broad is I look at this click through rate right here. Unique click through rate. Uh, you want that to be as high as possible, and I honestly think I can get that over 10%. Once I get that over 10, 12%, we're, you know, we're in business, we're like, we're doing really good. But right now it's not that high, uh, and I understand that because I'm super broad, I haven't really narrowed anything down. Uh, I was even for most of these audiences, I was actually testing pretty much any age, which I've now actually narrowed down to 18 to 44 year olds. So in this top ad set that is reflecting those changes. Also why it may cost a little bit more because it's less, uh, it's a little more targeted. So it may cost a little bit more to hit those exact people, right? Still the audience, I think this top audience is just under a million people and the other ones I have below here 
are over a million people in the audience. Okay, guys. So I don't want to make this video too long. Hopefully that that makes sense, and hopefully you guys are understanding what I'm where I'm getting at here. So if I go actually, I'll move myself over to the right again, and if I go over here, we got 305 unique link clicks, which is pretty cool. I've only spent six. I've actually spent 60 bucks total so far, which is like nothing to be honest with you guys when it comes to uh, Facebook ads. Uh, especially testing guys. I mean, I come from a fairly decent background with dropshipping, so I was like on Facebook ads like, every day for like a long time, and so like I know what I'm. Like, I kind of have an idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I mean, I more than more than kind of have an idea what I'm doing. Um, so in, in, like 60 bucks, guys. Be ready if you're gonna go. If you're gonna dive into something like this, be ready to spend well over a hundred dollars in the testing phase. It's 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 almost going to happen, uh, and there's a learning curve. And guys, when you actually put your money into something like this, right, and spend the money. You will learn a lot because you don't want to waste money, right? So you're going to make sure that you're on here every day making sure that this, the ads are not being shown to people who aren't going to buy, which is essentially what I'm doing. But I kind of knew that going in, and now I'm going to slowly start to roll out and move along through um, getting that the ad in front of now more of a buying country audience. And then from there, more of a buying interest audience, if that makes sense. And then from there, lookalike audiences, which will be really, really really effective going forward, okay? So we've generated 165 leads. Now, why, let, let, let me ask this question, let me, you know, you guys are probably asking this question, like, why is he, you know, running these ads, right? Why is he doing this when it's bad traffic, he's getting a ton of leads, costs him 60 bucks to get 165 leads, okay, but it's bad traffic, they're not gonna buy anything, like, what's the point? Well, <laughs> let me explain. So, I've been able to now test and split test my landing pages. So I've done, I do two at a time, that's my strategy. I do one landing page here, one here, I do like a split test and uh, get response. So that's where I actually currently make my landing pages guys, uh, right now, or that's where I'm making them for this product. Um, and so I do a split test, right, and get response. And now what happens is, uh, the one that's doing really bad, I, once I get a couple hundred hits to each page, what I'll do is, I'll then go with the better performing, and it's usually clear, right? For me, like I was getting a 30% opt-in rate on one page, and then I was getting a 50% on the other page. I was like, well, I'm definitely going with a 50% opt-in rate. So that, that's pretty good. So like that's what I was doing there. And then from there, now I have the 50%, and then you make a different one and see if it beats that. And then you guess, you, that's how you keep optimizing and keep taking the better um, page and the better thing, the thing that's working for you better, like that's what you kind of, that's how you go, go after that, right? That's how you kind of move along and progress. So now I have some data now. I know what pages are working. Okay. 165 leads. What I have set up is an autoresponder. So once they are a lead, I have six opportunities of this product that I'm currently promoting with the ad. They are hit with that product six times over, I want to say 10 days, approximately, maybe 12 days. Um, and then after that, there's other little products. Maybe there's other subscriptions. There's other softwares that I promote that I actually use myself. Like let's say GetResponse, um, stuff like that, guys. That I use myself. That I kind of recommend to them if they're interested in, in you know taking this up further. You know, getting an email autoresponder, whatever it is in, in terms of their business or whatever they're doing. So I'll do that and I'll send them emails. Essentially, I have an autoresponder set up. So I made this autoresponder and I keep building it over the course of you know weeks, you know, the weeks, months, you know, as I go, I kind of add stuff to it as I see, but it's like a 40 day autoresponder at this point. So these people just go into this autoresponder, these leads, right? They go into the autoresponder and they have six opportunities to then buy from, from me. They also, when they sign up through this person, this program, right? That I'm promoting when they sign up, they are on their list and they are getting emails from them and they have a 60 day cookie, which means that if that person then buys a product, whether it's from my link or from what they, you know, a link that they send them by email, whatever link they click, it's still connected to me and I will get the I will get the commission on that sale. Okay, so there's six opportunities there. So now you start doing the math, guys. Six opportunities times 165 leads. Okay. Dirty the math, like that is a lot. That is a lot of opportunities for a sale. So even even so, that's not even the end of the world. Okay. On top of that, guys, to make it even better. Okay, on top of that, there's other opportunities, there's other products that I might even recommend, and I recommend them all back to my content. So I send them back to videos that I've made in the past on YouTube about certain topics related to what they opted in for. So if this product 
is about how to make money online, for example, right? I will send them to videos that I've made on this channel, which is pretty much all my videos that are related to how to make money online. So then my channel begins to grow because now there's opportunity for 165 people to subscribe, to watch a video, to share a video. All of a sudden, before you know it, they're sharing it with a friend. All of a sudden, the video starts to rank. And that's how I like get more traction on my channel. So being that being said, spending 60 bucks for no results, essentially like no results yet in terms of actual money uh, and commissions, right? Okay. But it's not the end of the world because I kind of knew that going forward because it wasn't great traffic. And at the same time, they're actually going to end up growing my overall business anyway. So that's why I do it. And that's why it makes sense for me, right? And so I recommend if you guys don't have a plan like that in place, I don't recommend Facebook ads, at least if you have no idea what you're doing. I recommend taking a course, which guys, I've taken courses. I always have those linked down below. I'm not trying to sell you guys at all. But if you ever want to go further, those are options that I highly recommend. It'll cut the learning curve because when it comes to this stuff, guys, if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to waste a lot of money and you're going to see like even for me, like it happens to me too. I'm going through. I spent 60 bucks. I got no return, right? So like what am I like? I feel like, oh, that stinks. Like, I'm, I'm not doing good. I want to quit. No, because I know the long term strategy here is that I've just started. I have still have, to, I've yet to really optimize anything. So there's still a lot more I can do and a lot more that, you know, needs to be done to make this a winning campaign. And there's no reason why, because I know the product sells. There's no reason why this cannot be a winning campaign, if that makes sense. Okay, guys. So hopefully this video helped. If this video helped you guys at all, I'm going to be posting more videos about this campaign going forward as I spend the next 50 bucks and the next 50 bucks. And if I continue after that, I will let you guys know. So guys, subscribe subscribe to the channel if you want to see videos. If you want to stay up to date on videos like this going forward, and if you want to make sure you don't miss a thing when it comes to this campaign, hopefully you guys, if you made it this far, you are invested, you actually want to learn. And I encourage you guys to like this video and go down and subscribe to the channel to do so. Okay guys, I will catch you in the next video. Have a great one. Peace.